So number 11 then from the 2022 National 5 Paper 1, three mark question. It's the indices one, but there's three marks and it's very simple looking. There aren't even any fractions in these indices here. They're all just powers. But it does say give your answer with a positive power. And you've got negative powers to begin with. But what you would usually do is just work it out. And then in the final bit, once you've got your answer, change it into positive powers, which simply means doing what that negative says. And that negative says, instead of having multiplied by whatever it is this number of times, which is what the power tells you, how many times do you multiply by that same thing? This says, how many times do you divide by it? So that says you're dividing by m five times. You start with one, if you like, and you divide by m until you've divided by m five times. Well, there's three marks. The first mark will just be for sorting out this little bracket here. A power of a power. Well, that simply means whatever, whatever you do, you're going to do that four times altogether as far as the number of multiplications is concerned. So if that says you're doing it twice, you'll be doing it twice and then twice and then twice and then twice, multiplying them gives you m to the negative 8. So that's one mark. Then what happens if you carry out a series of multiplications and then another carry on doing more multiplications? Well, you'll have done the sum of the multiplications. So you add these two together. If you're multiplying terms, you add the powers. You add up how many times you've multiplied altogether, or in this case, how many times you've divided altogether. So it'll be negative 13, negative 8, plus negative 5 is negative 13. Now you can say, well, that's not a positive power. What does that negative mean? It means 1 over. It means reciprocal. It means instead of multiplying, you're actually dividing. Now you get the final mark. Now, the alternative would have been to get rid of the negatives to begin with. You've probably done it this way. So that instead of starting with that line, I would start with saying, well, m to the negative 2 actually means 1 over m squared. And m to the negative 5 actually means 1 over m to the power 5. You're actually doing divisions rather than multiplications. Doing that would be the first mark. That was the mark for changing them to positive powers. Now the mark for dealing with a power of a power. Well, suppose since you've got a fraction, you'll have to do them both now. Well, the top's easy. 1 to the power 4 is just 1. But m squared to the power 4, that would be m to the 8. Power of a power, multiply the powers over m to the 5. And then multiplying them, you'd multiply, multiply the numerators, 1 times 1. Multiply the denominators, m to the 8 times m to the 5. You add the powers because you'll have multiplied in the denominator 13 times altogether. So one mark for carrying out the power of a power and one mark for carrying out the multiplying two terms with powers. Number 12 then, just a little two mark question here, for that type of question involving multiplying or dividing fractions, where instead of just having numbers, like in question one, as parts of the fraction, you've got expressions as part of the fraction. So it's only two marks here because there isn't a lot involved here. It's not like the more elaborate ones where there's factorizations involved in order to carry out simplifications, because you can see straight away you've got the same expression here. They're going to knock each other out somewhere along the line. Well, the first step's going to be make it a multiplication. So leave that first fraction alone, that one's fine. But instead of dividing by this, multiply by its reciprocal. So the denominator, which was x plus 2 squared, now becomes the numerator. And the numerator, 5, now becomes the denominator. Doing that gets a mark. Now, just emphasise that this is exactly the same as that. Didn't need to put the brackets in. Those are going to get cancelled out when you divide, because with equal fractions, you can do what you like to the top and the bottom, as long as you do the same thing to the top and the bottom. That same thing being either multiply or divide. Well, if you divide the top and the bottom by x plus 2, that will get knocked out. Well, it doesn't actually disappear. It gets knocked out and gets changed into a 1. But I don't really want to score out the working, as if I've said I've made a mistake. That would get knocked out and get replaced by 1. It, that wouldn't get knocked out because there's two of them. So one of them would get knocked out, leaving the other one. Which means that after you've carried out the cancellation, you're left with the four. And one of them, remember two means, power two means there was two of them. One of them, 
That one's gone to be replaced by a 1. Times the 5 is 5, and that's the answer. Unless you wanted to rewrite that as maybe put the 4 fifths as a separate coefficient times the term. You could do that as well. Or you could even, according to the Martin scheme, you could multiply it out, which I don't think is really a simplification. That's probably the best form for the answer. So, that was fairly straightforward. That form's actually quite a handy form in longer expressions involving lots of sums of different terms. But this would have been the expected one here.